William Samuel Ruto, the president of the Republic of Kenya, right now as we speak, ladies and gentlemen, he is out of the country. And of course, majority of people knows about that, whereby he attended the funeral service of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II there in the United Kingdom. After that service, William Ruto will be heading to the US, whereby he will be joining other leaders from other countries in a certain meeting which will be held in the U.S. But I want to assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that immediately Dr. William Ruto returns into the country. The first activity or the first thing that he, we expect him to do is to unveil the members of his cabinet. And according to sources, Dr. William Ruto has already crafted the members of his cabinet and he has the list and the names already so that he can solidify to the top executive organ with the leaders that he will work with, work with, the leaders that he trusts, the leaders who will support him in the next five years in his administration so that he can deliver to the people of the Republic of Kenya through his promises. But as William Ruto is prepared to name these cabinet secretaries in his government, in his administration, it has caused a lot of wrangles inside the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Because we expect majority of the betrayal, we expect leaders who ex were expecting to be named as the CS will not be named. And I will not be surprised if majority of leaders, after that naming of the CS, majority of the Kenya Kwanzaa leaders to start defecting from the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. I will not be surprised because politics is all about interest. And I personally believe that even the people who defected from the Azimio Laumoja Alliance, they came to Dr. William Ruto's side because each and every leader, each and every elected politician want to associate themselves with the government. And they came so that they can be offered positions in the government, in the ruling government. You know, this structure of the government is like a national kick or it is like a kick of leaders, which at least majority of people can have their own share. It has a lot of positions. We have the CS, we have the PS, we have the ambassadors, we we have the Speaker of the National Assembly, we have uh, 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 the majority leader and the minority leader and all others. So politics is all about interest and betrayal. Of course, Dr. William Ruto has to consider several issues before appointing these leaders, of which we are going to to discuss in this video briefly but i want us to look at this video in this way somebody like musalia mudavadi musalia mudavadi already has taken that position of becoming the prime cabinet secretary the prime cs somebody like uh, the former speaker honorable of the national assembly honorable justin muturi justin muturi folded his presidential ambition folded his presidential bid so that he can support Dr. William Ruto all along. William Ruto has to consider those kind of people. Somebody like uh, the former Darakanidi Senator, Honorable Kidure Kindiki, who almost became the running mate for Dr. William Ruto before he was sidestepped in favor of none other than Rigadi Kashagwa. Those are the kind of people Dr. William Ruto has to consider in naming the CS people who stood by his side first. People like Sam Salim Vuria of the coastal region, somebody like Josphat Nanok, who played an important role in forming this government. Somebody like Alfred Mutua, people like uh, the UDA chairperson, Honorable Joson Mudama. Those are the kinds of people Dr. William Ruto will have to consider in his cabinet uh, ministry. Somebody like Davis Chirchir, in Nyanza region or the Kisi region, we have somebody like Charles Nyachai, Ezekiel Machogu, and all others. So in this video today, I just want us to discuss some of the key areas that William Ruto will have to consider before naming all this CS. But before that, because William Ruto is trying to balance, it is really a hard thing. It is actually a headache to Dr. William Samuel Ruto. But before we go into deeper details of this video, if you're watching this video for the first time, please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel, 
please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend my channel to reach out to other people and to my subscribers, to my viewers. I just want to take this opportunity also to thank you guys for your support. Actually, I'm not taking your support for granted. You can also support this YouTube channel by sharing this video or you can press that notification bell so that each and every pass, every time I upload a video on this platform, YouTube will be able to send you the notification that I have actually uh, uploaded a video. But of course, we usually upload two videos per day on this platform. And I want to apologize today because I have uploaded this video a little bit late. I usually upload a video before noon, then another video uh, a few minutes to evening. That is what I usually do, but I was a little bit busy and sorry for that. Now, let us go briefly into the details of this video. William Ruto has to consider some various issues. And by the way, William Ruto is out of the country. Therefore, Rigadi Gashagwa, the DP, is the one in charge. He's the one acting as the president of the Republic of Kenya. And that guy, we love him just the way he is. He's a very straightforward man. You cannot change his attitude. He is just the way he is. And... We like him. We like him just the way he is. He is the way he is. <laughs> yeah. So, first of all, Dr. William Ruto has to consider about pre-election agreements. That is very, very important because before honorable, for example, somebody like uh, Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula of the Western region, before they agreed to come, to the Kenya Kwanzaa or to form the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, there were the agreements. For example, Musali Mudavadi and Masik Moses Wetangula was, were told that they must deliver around 70% of the entire votes of the Western region to Dr. William Ruto so that they can be offered a 30% of the government share. But the question is, did Moses Wetangula and Musali Mudavadi deliver the 70%? Of course, no. So William Ruto has to consider another way out. Will he be able to give them the 30% that he had promised them? Of course not. That is the first thing that Dr. William Ruto has to consider. The second thing is that William Ruto must reward the loyalists. Those people who, who stood by himself, those people who were frustrated by the former government, the Jubilee administration, because of Dr. William Ruto. William Ruto has to reward them by offering them position of the cabinet uh, as cabinet secretaries. The third thing, Dr. William Ruto has to consider if he will appoint leaders who defected from the Azimio Lomoja. Because William Ruto made it very clear that he will not give jobs to the, uh, the opposition side. But he will have to consider the people who are on his side. Will he consider the people who defected from the Azimio Lomoja? Those are the kinds of things that William Ruto has to consider before naming the CS. The fourth and the very, very important thing, William Ruto has to consider the elected leaders. There are people who are elected in different positions. And according to sources, according to some reports, some elected leaders are considering to quit their elective positions so that they can be appointed as the CS. Somebody like the Elegeo Maraquet Senator Honorable Kipchumba Murkome. According to reports, he is very much willing to quit his seat so that he can be appointed. Somebody like um, Alice Wahome, the Kandara MP, she is also willing to quit or to step down so that she can be appointed as the CS. So William Ruto has to consider the elected leaders. Will they be? Uh, will, will William Ruto allow them to step down or to quit so that they can be appointed? Or William Ruto will just tell them to proceed with their elective positions? The fifth point is that William Ruto has to consider the current CSS. There are people or there are cabinet secretaries who are appointed by none other than Uhuru and they have not left the office and they are willing to serve under William Ruto's administration. Somebody like the head, uh, the, 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 the health minister, cabinet, the health CS, Honorable Mutai Kagwe. Will William Ruto tell him to continue? Somebody like uh, Najib Balala, the CS for tourism, who made it publicly that, very clear that he is willing to serve under Dr. William Ruto's cabinet. And he was, he appreciated serving Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta under the Jubilee administration. Somebody like the educational CS, Honorable Magoha, will William Ruto tell him to proceed or 
will William Ruto tell him to step down in other so that other leaders can be appointed? Those are the kind of issues William Ruto considered when appointing if he appoints the 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 the, 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 the CS in his administration. The sixth one, William Ruto will consider the party. Of course, the party is ranked with the way they performed. For example, in the Kenya Kwanza Alliance, the party which is leading is none other than the UDA party, which is for Dr. William Samuel Ruto. So, and according to sources, Dr. William Ruto has appointed majority of the CS from the UDA party because they are the majority. So I think William Ruto has to so has, has to look at the the strength of the party, each and every party affiliated to the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. And also the most important thing, Dr. William Ruto has to consider the region. Which region are you coming from? Region also is very, very important because William Ruto has to balance. Each and every county has to have a representative. Like for example, in the Kisi area, we have this person called uh, Simeon Nyachai, uh, uh, Charles Nyachai of Kisi. We have this person called Ezekiel Machogu. William Ruto has to consider those people in his cabinet while appointing his cabinet secretaries. I don't know what you think. That was, that was my video for today. Thank you so much. I will still upload another video, but thank you so much for standing by my side. Thank you so much for assisting me in one way or another. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below simply because I've always maintained that nobody is perfect. In as much as you love politics, you have your own different opinion. So just comment something. I will go through the comments so that I can understand because we all learn. We all learn. At least you learn something. At least I learn something. But all of these are just politics. Politics becomes interesting if there is engagement. That is why I like engagement or I like engaging with all, all of my fans on the comment section below. So thank you so much, guys, and see you in the next video.